Okay, uh, welcome back to Rolla, Missouri, everybody. Uh, uh, apparently the boys have been working too hard, so I want to go see for myself. Uh, let's go take a look. The quarter three numbers are a disaster. Q3, say, say it again. Could you say it again? Hey, the could you, could you we're, say we're in the red. Quarter, Q3, quarter, third quarter. They handed, at the end of the second quarter, they handed us the reins to the operations facility here in Rolla, Missouri. We single-handedly submarine this fucking company this was a help we had a healthy balance a healthy spreadsheet it's red across the board what? no we, that was we i can't and see how that even operation. fit into the plan there's no way that could Dude, tell Pitt, me that again say one Pittsburgh, more time what when, just happened when Pittsburgh <laughs> say one more time how hey, it when, when they see and pittsburgh sees these numbers they're gonna flip the fuck out i saw the third quarter number and, <laughs> and that didn't happen I saw the third quarter numbers, and I don't like them. There are some threes in there, uh, some eights, uh, some other numbers I don't like. A few I think you guys might have just made up, you know, what the digits are, zero through nine. So, uh, I'm actually pretty lazy, so I'm not going to do shit about it, but I did notice, and now I'm going back to Pittsburgh. Fuck you. I can't believe this. <laughs> hey, I, do, I believe in second chances. Are we going to turn this ship around? Take the second chance. Or are we going to continue? Can to we? Are we going to continue to squander Can what little we? resources we have left? What on on like a joyride to the bottom? <laughs> yeah, a, a <laughs> cheap, shitty pleasure cruise with the worst company to the bottom for the very last bit. Yeah, why do we keep screaming into the dark? There's little screaming demons. <laughs> you're just a you're a plant manager. You've been managing plants since you were 17, and you're prone to like fits of screaming. <laughs> Oh, that's just recent. That's just recent. <laughs> the screaming. I don't know what that's about. That's, it's, best, that, it's best not to think too deep into that. Uh, well, I mean, they don't last so long, so I don't think about them when they're not happening. They're screaming seizures. They're screezers. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm it's only up. you guys keep bringing it up and it makes me think, maybe it actually happened. I think we should shut the plant down. Have a day of Whoa. Whoa. What would cocky cock cock think about that? <laughs> this is how all the boys relax after a hard day of work. The they go sit around a hard fire. Hard work too, working too hard. <laughs> Bro, you're one of the you're one of the factory boys. Hey, hard days work. What too. are you doing out here? Here's Brett Gabby behind the scenes. Hard work. Uh, hard days work too, working too hard. I mean. Couldn't be a more aptly named title. We've been busting our ass out here, trying to bring quality content to you guys. I like mean, really trying to capture what it's like to be in the trenches in modern day America. I hope we did that for you. I mean, that's what we're fucking trying to do. Yeah. So, mad respect. Ma way to us. And one love. Big up, big ups to the shorty upstairs. <laughs> you don't I work smart. smart. That's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, there was a violation. Did you get a write up or was it a warning? Oh no, we got a visit from OSHA. Oh, damn. The safety inspector showed up and found holes. Some holes in the operation. Wait, wait, wait. Are we talking about like the hole holes? Yeah. Oh yeah. The factory, ha we've neglected our fact mandatory inspections for the past 20 years. We inherited that problem. Why? In our, Why? To our defense, we inherited that issue. Why? But you say you're trying. But we are grossly incompetent. Oh. All right, we got one of the factory employees here after hours. Hi, it's me, Adam Corey. I've been working at the factory for 39,000 years, and it's a shit job, but I can't do anything else because I've got no education, because I can't afford it, because I spent me teenage years, first half of the teenage years till I was 14, running away from me responsibilities. And then my mom got sick. And once mom got sick, well, everything changed. Got everything got put in perspective. So I took a job in Rolla, Missouri, where I'm from. And it wasn't safe. The pay wasn't good. Hours were shit. My boss beat me across the face every day. Um, my mother, God rest her soul, didn't make it. But I'm still in debt, paying off debts. <laughs> <laughs>